I've had a few viewers ask about the capacitor discharging tool that I use on this channel. Well the truth of it is I built it myself and I built it out of necessity. You've all seen me get zapped a few times. If you're working on power supplies you need one of these. And they don't need to be big capacitors to give you a shot, they just need to have a good high voltage on them. This one's rated for 250 volts and I'm just going to charge it up to 150. Put some crock clips on there. Let's crank this up. Charge it up. I've heard of pranksters charging cats up like that and then putting them back in component drawers to catch people out. That's not clever. Because a healthy capacitor will hold its charge for a long time. It's a lot more convenient to discharge them like this. It doesn't take too many capacitor shocks to make you want one of these. It's got a few features, got a voltmeter, that's mainly to keep you entertained when you're waiting for a big high powered thing to discharge. The probe's just an M4 screw that I've just ground down to a point on one end. And this end just takes a standard multimeter lead. And because I'm impatient, I'll put a shorting switch in there, so I can just discharge the last bits of energy out of a capacitor. So I'm going to open the back up, and you can see this uh, really truly DIY construction. I warn you now, it's not going to be the prettiest thing. So there we have it. It's quite full, it's jammed with power resistors, there's a relay, what's that for? And of course there's an LED meter inside. After having a few belts off power supplies in the past I'd considered what would be the ultimate in discharging tool. And one of the things I thought would be good is to have a voltmeter on there so you could see exactly what's going on. Now it needed to be a small voltmeter because it's a handheld device. And it just so happened I've got a little LED voltmeter lying around in the drawer. But it requires 5 volts to run. So I utilised a fairly chunky Zener diode there and used some chunky resistors in series. And that is actually the main discharge path for this tool. The capacitor actually powers the voltmeter up. It did create a problem that the tool's now sensitive to polarity. So to get over that I put a bridge rectifier in the way. And when I was working out the load calculations it became very clear that depending on what voltage was on these capacitors I might need a different resistance. So I actually put some extra resistors in series but bypassed them with a relay. So when the voltage is sufficiently high enough current will flow for this relay and put this extra resistance in series which stops it overloading these resistors and probably damaging the capacitor. I smartened it up by designing some professional labels with all the prerequisite warnings like any good bit of equipment. Which you can see here. The device is intended for discharging residual capacitive charge in unpowered circuits. That's very important. Don't connect to live equipment and the device may get hot when in use. Allow to cool in between uses. And in practice, in use, never gets warm. So I'm very pleased with that. Catch you next time.